everyone. So today, I'm super excited to dive into the latest features of iOS 18.2. There's a ton of cool stuff that just dropped, and I can't wait to share my thoughts on it. From new AI enhancements to some fun tweaks in the apps we use daily, this update is packed with things that can really change how we interact with our devices. So let's get right into it. First up, we've got Apple Intelligence, which, honestly, is a game changer. They've introduced some smart features that really push the boundaries of what we can expect from our phones. If you haven't updated yet, now's the time. It's like, you don't want to miss out on these enhancements that can make your life easier and more connected. Now, one of the standout features for me is the integration of Siri with ChatGPT. I mean, just think about it. A whole new glowing interface for Siri, and she's now got Jack's brain power behind her. It's like having a supercharged assistant at your fingertips. But you know, it's important to remember that not everything Siri says is gospel. So we still need to verify those AI responses. Then there's this fun new thing called Genmoji. It's all about creating your own custom emojis. Like, how cool is that? You can personalize your messaging experience and express yourself in ways that were never possible before. Just imagine sending a text with a little emoji that looks just like you totally unique. And let's talk about visual intelligence. This feature is all about identifying items and translating languages. I mean, if you've got the iPhone 16, you're gonna feel like a total genius using this. Just point your camera at something and boom, it's like magic. This can be super handy when traveling or just navigating daily life. Oh, and don't sleep on the image playground. You can create images from text prompts now, which is just like, a fun little playground for your creativity. AI-generated images mixed with your personal photos mean there's endless possibilities for fun and creativity. It's just a blast to use dot dot now. Moving on to the Find My App, there are some new features that really shine, especially for travelers. You can share item locations with friends and family. This is a total lifesaver during the holiday season when everyone's on the go. It just makes everything feel a bit more secure, right? And if you're like me and tend to get overwhelmed with emails, the Mail app has some nice enhancements too. They've added categorization features, which gives you more control over how you want your layout. I mean, who doesn't want a little more organization in their digital life? It's just so important to keep things tidy. Oh, and guess what? The volume slider is back on the lock screen. It's such a simple thing, but like, having that ease of access is just so nice. You can quickly adjust your sound without fumbling through your settings. Speaking of sound, there's a new feature to set volume limits. This is particularly great for parents who want to manage sound levels for their kids. It's all about safety, and I think that's a big win. Now, one of the features I really appreciate is the ability to change default apps. It's all about flexibility and making your device feel more like asterisk you asterisk. It's empowering to customize things according to our preferences, don't you think? And for the puzzle lovers out there, Apple News Plus has added Sudoku for subscribers. I mean, who doesn't love a good brain teaser? It's a fun way to engage and keep your mind sharp. Lastly, camera control features have been revamped for easier access. I can't stress enough how important convenience is when you're trying to capture those spontaneous moments. So, to wrap it all up, iOS 18. 2 is packed with features that really enhance our experience. It's like, every little tweak and new addition makes using our devices feel fresh and exciting. I really encourage you to update to iOS 18.2 and explore these new functionalities. If you found this rundown helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these features and how you're feeling about the update. It's always great to connect with you all. Thanks for hanging out with me today.